The Great Reset is a vision from the World Economic Forum in Davos that calls for dissolving the boundaries between the public sector and the private sector, dissolving the boundaries between nations, dissolving the boundary even between the online world and the offline world to work together towards the singular global common good as articulated by the likes of Klaus Schwab. What we're seeing in Western democracies around the world is a rising, an uprising. I'd call it, yes, in a good way, a populist uprising of everyday citizens who say hell no to that vision. I'm not some vague, nebulous, global citizen fighting climate change somewhere. I'm a citizen of this nation, in our case, the United States of America, and I'm proud of that, and that citizenship means something. That's what I call the great uprising. But for the great uprising to actually succeed, we have to stand for something, for an alternative vision. What is that vision? It is sovereignty. That's the opposite of the Great Reset. We've been searching for what it is. What does it mean to be the opposite or in opposition to the Great Reset? It means we are sovereign at the level of the individual, the family, the nation, and God. Individual, family, nation, God, that beats race, gender, sexuality, and climate. If we have the courage to actually stand for something, for our vision of what it means to be sovereign as an individual, that I am an agent, free to achieve what I want with my own free will, not riding some fake tectonic plate of group identity. My membership in a family, the ultimate unit of governance, the best known form of governance to mankind in our country or any other one. That I'm a citizen of a nation and that means something, that that national identity is part of my identity, that the nation state grounds me and I'm not gonna apologize for my pride in it. And my belief that we are one nation under God, that God doesn't have to be some four letter word or treated it as such, but that we are part of something bigger than ourselves, that there is a God that puts us here for a purpose and that that gives us our sense of direction in this world. That's the opposite of the Great Reset. Particularly, let's talk about that topic of national identity. We've fallen into this trap of believing that there are globalists who want to make the world a better place, and then there are those of us, I call myself one of them, nationalists, who believe that it's the job of leaders to look after the interests of our own nation. And we've almost ceded the argument to the other side by saying that they're arguing for how to make the world a better place, where we're just here talking about how to make our nation better. Well, I think that's the wrong framing of the argument. It's not the fact that the people who want to make the world a better place are going to be successful at doing it. The way we make the world a better place is for leaders of each nation to make their nation the best version of itself. That's the true positive nationalist vision, is what it means to be sovereign at the level of the individual, the family, the nation, and a nation under God. That's how we ground what I see as a multinational conservative movement of everyday citizens of those nations stepping up to say, you know what, here's how we're gonna help each other and help the world is each of our nations to be the best version of ourselves. For me, that's right here in the United States, but if that's Georgia Maloney in Italy or Viktor Orban in Hungary, or whether it's Bukele in El Salvador or any other leader in any other country who says that, you know what, my job is to make sure my nation and the citizens of my nation are best off, that is how you make the world a better place. And that's the alternative vision to the Great Reset. And it's up to us as conservatives, as citizens of actual nations, to step up and stand for that vision rather than just getting worked up over what the other side puts up on offer. We have to offer that alternative vision of our own. And in Western democracies around the world, I think that starts with sovereignty.